We've added electrodes into the back sapphire crystal and the digital crown, allowing you to take an electrocardiogram. So pretty cool tweet from Tim Cook. Yeah, I saw it last night. I actually responded to it. Some people misinterpreted what I meant. Yeah, explain yourself. <laughs> It's a really cool story though. It was a Tim Cook tweet relating to the Apple Watch, more specifically the feature which can monitor your heart and perform, what is it, an ECG? An ECG measures the electrical activity of the heartbeat and it's used by physicians to help diagnose uh, certain heart con diseases and, and other conditions. And this is the first ECG product offered over the counter directly to consumers. Yeah, no, this is this is serious stuff. This is the kind of thing, if you had an emergency and you went to the emergency room, they would immediately hook you up to one of these. If it was anything related to your sh heart or shortness of breath, yep. they would hook you up to a traditional version of this and they would get immediate feedback on, on how your heart is behaving. Your and heart if rhythm irregularities stuff like exactly that. and so when they first announced the latest version of the apple watch they made it clear that it was going to have this feature in it and a lot of people in the crowd you know they clapped because people have been talking for a long time about these sorts of health related advancements in technology that could actually uh, help people. Not just apps like uh, health apps where you input your steps or you track your calorie intake, but, but kind of like almost more turning you into a cyborg of sorts where you've got this biofeedback of like how your body is behaving. And so if you go back to the tweet, new Apple Watch saved my husband's life this week. That's, that's a crazy tweet. Mm -hmm only two days old and it diagnosed AFib, so that's a heart condition, and 150 BPM. He went to the ER and he never did in the past with those symptoms, he just thought it was nothing. And of course, in the ER, they found a major blockage in his arteries as a result. Gave him two stents and now he's good as new, telling the world thank you. I mean, it's, a, it's an incredible tweet in yeah. the tech world to see something like that where a device that anyone can walk into a store and buy could actually save your life. So Tim retweets with comment, and then I tweet saying this is the best commercial I've ever seen, which it is. And to give you a little more clarity on what I meant by that, it's like, here's a real world case of an individual having their life saved by this piece of tech. Like what better case can be made for why you should pick one of these up? It's like you decide, Apple Watch or death? That's an incredible proposal. That's a very dramatic statement. It, it is, <laughs> but like that's essentially what they've encapsulated in this quoted tweet, which is very hard to do. Now, of course, most people don't have this particular heart issue and most people aren't going to be dead if they don't buy an Apple Watch. But here is an example of that actually being the case. And that's, that's a really compelling reason to pick one of these up, especially if you're in a particular age group where, where individuals do have more heart problems or something like that. It's also a major differentiating factor for the Apple Watch versus other wearables. Like this is not popping up at least yet, mm -hmm. in other smartwatches. So it's, it's something that exists in the Apple Watch exclusively. And we can't say the same for other Apple products. There, there are fewer and fewer features that are specific to one particular device. So anyway, a few people got mad at me. They're like, they're like, of course, here's the, here's the troll Lou talking about Apple, but they didn't realize I was sincere in that comment. I meant it's the best commercial even if it's unintentional, even if it's not intentionally a commercial, it's the best that they can possibly do because it has that real world element and those highly elevated stakes of like, this dude's life was saved because he bought an Apple Watch. That's intense. Mm -hmm. And with the Apple Watch, there seems to be a lot of uh, praise, the fact that it is a health hardware, mm -hmm. you know? And with these companies that is making, um, you know, smart watches, do you think that it's a good move for them to concentrate on, you know, health tech? It's kind of funny with these smart watches, like trying to figure out really what they're most useful for because they've been out for a while now and you still, the adoption rate hasn't been the same as smartphones, for example. Do people really want notifications on their wrist? Do they want to be bothered more? Do they want games? Do they want specific apps? I don't really know. That really depends on the individual. But who doesn't want this outcome that this mm -hmm. individual had? So the thing about health is it, it, it really 
encompasses everyone. Everyone cares about health to a certain extent, assuming they're alive and breathing. Now, an ECG is one version of an instrument that can kind of give you feedback on, on where you're at from a heart health perspective. But of course, there's probably other ones, other instruments you might see in an ER in a hospital that could potentially be miniaturized and put into wearable devices that could be interesting for people. I don't know, is there like some version of that for blood glucose, for diabetics? Right. I don't know, but this is definitely one of those things where it's, a, it's kind of a, a proactive measure where you're like, well, maybe nothing's wrong with me, but if my tech can tell me before I know it, that's compelling. And keep in mind this, they got the watch and it just happened two days afterwards. Yeah, you know? that's quick. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a quick result. It's, it's really interesting. It's, it's an amazing story. It's one of the better tweets I've ever seen. Like I said, assuming everything is as it appears, it's an incredible commercial advertisement, unintentional commercial for Apple pitching the idea of wearing this monitoring device on your wrist just in case.